Welding is a fabrication technique used in nearly all steel projects. Fabricators understand quality welding is critical for structural integrity. However, fabricators may not realize the quality of the weld also plays a significant role in the appearance of the hot dip galvanized coating. ASTM A385 practice for providing high quality zinc coatings, hot dip, contains design practices including many on welding. These practices ensure proper galvanized coating growth and can also improve the overall coating appearance on the welded areas. Cleanliness and overall quality of the weld area can impact the galvanized coating quality and appearance. Hot dip galvanizing will accentuate any imperfections or aesthetic concerns on welds with incomplete penetration, porous wells, protrusions, or non-uniformity. Furthermore, all welding flux residues and spatter should be removed before galvanizing because their presence produces rough surfaces, coating voids, and areas of poorly adhered zinc prone to delamination. Flux residues and spatter cannot be removed by the galvanizing process and must be removed by wire brushing, chipping, grinding, pneumatic needle gun, or abrasive blast cleaning. Another consideration when welding before galvanizing is the weld chemistry. When the selected welding electrode contains excessive amounts of silicon, the welded areas develop thicker, rougher, and darker galvanized coatings in comparison to the surrounding steel, even if the weld is ground smooth prior to galvanizing. This is visually unappealing and can interfere with the intended use of the product. Best practice is to select welding electrodes with composition as close as possible to the steel's composition and with less than 0.25% silicon content. Fabrications which feature sealed areas or overlapping surfaces require special attention to welding details and weld quality to avoid two different surface issues. The first is weld blowout, a bare spot near a weld or overlapping surface caused when cleaning solutions in the galvanizing process penetrate the area and then boil out during immersing in the zinc. When the liquids blow out, they create localized contamination, preventing the coating from forming. Weld blowouts are not acceptable without touch-up because they create bare spots. To avoid welding blowouts, there must be no weld imperfection or pinholes, which lead to the entrapment of cleaning solutions. The second issue, called a weeping weld or rust bleeding, is not noticeable right away but appears as staining of the galvanized coating at welded connections. Weeping welds occur after pretreatment chemicals become entrapped between small gaps and overlapping joints that the more viscous zinc cannot penetrate. Over time, these entrapped chemicals interact with moisture and create rust that seeps out of the joint. Though unsightly, weeping welds are not cause for rejection nor the responsibility of the galvanizer. They can be prevented by specifying fully sealed joints or by providing a minimum 3 seconds inch gap between surfaces when stitch welding. With proper preparation of the weld area, careful selection of welding material, and optimized quality and specification of welded connections, hot dip galvanized coatings developed over welded areas will result in improved appearance and corrosion resistance for use in many applications. Additional factors that can impact hot dip galvanized steel's appearance are examined in the subsequent videos of this series.